Hello guys. In the previous session, we have created Onyx model from the ML.NET pipeline. In this session, we are going to use the Onyx model in the ML.NET pipeline. I have created a folder for session 70. Within that, copy Onyx model that we have created in the previous session. You can also use the Onyx model that created from the PyTorch or other supported platforms. Copy the training data set, input model, and result model. In the demo class, created instance of the ML context and loaded the training data set. To use the existing Onyx model, we need to add the two additional NuGet packages. Search for the Microsoft.ml.onyx converter and Microsoft.ml.onyx runtime. Note that Onyx runtime package size is larger. It might take up to 10 or more minutes based on your internet service provider. I have already added both package in the our project. Let's load the uh, Onyx model in Estimator. For this, we need to use the apply Onyx model method and specify the uh, path of the uh, Onyx model. This will load the Onyx model. It performs the operation that written in that model. We have used the uh, regression in that model. This Onyx estimator is just like the normal other estimator. We can also append the any other estimator within that. For example, I'm going to use the copy column. You can use any other operation too. Output column name will be salary copy. And input column name will be salary. A reason model for this example has some change. I have added a new property for the salary copy as well as change the data type for the both column to the area of float. Onyx model might change the data type of the output. Here we will get the vector of the single. To create a model, we need to use the fit method of the pipeline and pass the training data set. It's just like the normal ML.NET model. Create a prediction engine for that. And create an instance of the input model on which we want to perform the prediction. Use the predict method. And print the SLT for the result. Note that as it will return the vector of single, which is interested in the first element in the array. Update the program.cs file. Save the file and run the project. Here you can see that we got the proper production for that. Let's see what we have learned in this session. To use the Onyx model in ML.NET, we need to add the two additional NuGet package, that is Onyx Converter and Onyx Runtime. Use the apply Onyx model method to load the Onyx model in the pipeline. We can also add the additional estimator within that. And rest of things are same as the normal ML.NET model. Goodbye.